Welcome back you are watching Ifi News knowledge series in Film Bazaar on Saturday featured Farah Khan Goa is close to her heart and a visit to Goa is always fun for her after the session she also demonstrated a few dancing steps a report by our field reporter Dipti Nagwekar and video journalist Prasad Harmalkar I all I mean I am I'm a Goan at heart I love coming to Goa my mother lived here for 10 years so anyone says we're going to Goa for anything I always say yes Uh, uh now recently i after <laughs> reality shows everybody wants to dance right and then every corner of yeah. every city is having this dance classes yeah. what is your feeling about that? i think it's good now it's a talent and uh, so many people who didn't know they have the talent because of reality shows now they actually get to come and learn new things and parents are happy sending their kids whether they are boys and girls to learn some to learn uh, a dance form is better than sitting at home and thinking of mischief Mm. and uh, now recently there is something called zumba which like you know uh, yeah. it is dancing and yeah. exercising yeah. so is that a form of uh, dancing in uh, bollywood uh, not yet is because it's like a aerobic exercise you know jane fonda and all used to do that so i don't think a exercise video will will become a hit in bollywood Seventy-five-year-old Surendra Pai Panandekar of Madgaon, a Bollywood movie buff, has displayed his collection at the Ifi venue Ravindra Bhavan in Madgaon. His collection of two thousand odd books on Bollywood songs, magazine profiles, and postcards on Bollywood is impressive in an e age where pursuits of collecting trinkets and remainders are often thought unnecessary. Samir Bhatt from Madgaon reports. His collection dates back to the nineteen forties. Surendra's collection draws the attention of all those who visit the exhibition at Ravindra Bhavan. The books and other items have all been systematically preserved with the books stacked and packed in alphabetical order. More than 800 Hindi film song books are listed. To make such a collection requires patience. बॉम्बे शिकता भाव शिवा शिवा धाटा शिव सगले कलेक्शन करता शिव एक रिपोर्टर आयो तो राष्ट्रमता जी सिनेमा दिता गोमंत वाणी के क्लब मैं तो एम सी एम सी जी क्लब आिमलो स्पोर्ट क्लब क्लब हजो रिपोर्टर जो सिनेमा जैक पाता ताजे फाटा हमें ये सभी सामा टोटल कितने पोस्टर एक पोटी पोटी सिनेमा पोटी तो बरबर टू थाउजंड टेन आ दुसरे छंद गणपति बाकी पुस्तक रसरंग प्रीमियर नवरंग ओल्ड सीडी के पोस्टर कट कर प्रत्येक कट कर कट कर राज कपूर आगे पिक्चर राज कपूर आर्क ती आस पटी 
आवारा आक खूब वाइट दिता राज कपूर आजे एक घर उदघाटन के राज कपूर नाव दिल थी राज कपूर फोटो ना राज कपूर एक पिक्चर दाखोना हा बदल खूब वाइट दिता पिक्चर सिशोर कुमार जुमरू आप टिकीट सशोक कुमार शम्मी कपूर शम्मी कपूर सुमसान देखा कोटिया तुमसान देखा जंगी जानवर सी मगे आवटे ना किशोर कुमार मधुबाला आनी काम मगे पटी दौर ये कर काम करता मगे चली अंबिका तक लग्न कर मजान वाली काम जाएना मगे बैल से व्यवस्थित एक आयतार घर सापड़ बेपर्य दौरता एन एजलेस हॉबी दे Film critic Sachin Chatte recommends certain movies to be watched on a day-to-day -day basis. Our video journalist Sarvesh Veduskar brings to you tips of Sachin Chatte for viewing films on Monday. Well, at the ongoing International Film Festival of India, there are more than 165 odd films that are being screened from 60 different countries. Now, here we are going to recommend some films for Monday. That's the 28th of November. A film that might be worth taking a look is called She Monkeys, and it comes from Sweden. Now, the story here is about two sisters. One is more on the physical side; she likes a lot of physical activities, and the other is more quiet. So, on the whole, this story of these two sisters should pan out to be a good one. We'll have to wait and watch, but I am sure that this. Film might be worth a watch, and it's going to be screened on Monday. That's the 28th of November. Another film that might be worth taking a look on Monday, that's the 28th of November, is a film called Island, and it comes from Bulgaria. The story here is about a couple who are going on a vacation. The man is reluctant to go there. It turns out that he was born there, and there are a lot of issues that come up once they are in this particular island. So make sure you check out this film called The Island. It comes from Bulgaria, and it will be shown on 28th of November. They used to take us there when we were kids. The boat has left. <laughs> It's a dead man. There's, there's a, a corpse. A, a, a troop. There is yet no horror. Joe, so I should have a castle. For me, there's yet she's a cheater. You should have got the other guy for you. And here's one last film for Monday that's the 28th of November. It's a homage to Tarek Masood who passed away earlier this year. Now if you haven't seen this film before then you must watch this film called The Clay Bird which will be screened on 28. The story here is set in East Pakistan as it was known before and it is about the political conflict. The main characters here are a couple of children and as i just mentioned that the story is very much political here. The film won the jury award at Cannes way back in 2002. And if you haven't seen this film make sure you watch it. It's called The Clay Bird directed by Tariq Masood to be shown on 28th of November at EFI. Well we'll give you more tips in the days to come as to what to watch at the ongoing International Film Festival of India. Sachin Chatte they're telling you what's hot and what's not at the film festival. And before we end this bulletin we bring to you a video of the day performance by Kadam Dance Group at EFI in Madgaon. Have a great day up ahead. Goodbye.